Welcome back everyone to more Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last video, we got our first Pokemon, Bulbasaur, which I named Peepo, after the Twitch emote. Something I didn't check in the original video was uh, natures. Natures are pretty important. Sorry for pausing for so long. I was just trying to think about what I was going to say. You know what? Don't really need to know that, but you know what? Natures can do one of two things. Either they can permanently raise a stat and permanently lower a stat, depending on what the nature is, or they could just do absolutely nothing, depending on what the nature is. So for a balanced Pokemon like Bulbasaur, a neutral nature like that would be pretty good. But for a split second, I'm going to check what Bulbasaur's current nature does. Okay, so I looked it up, and Bulbasaur's ability is pretty weird. It doesn't really help it that much, but it doesn't really hurt it that much either. Um, it has a timid nature raises speed and lowers physical attack, so that's a little strange, but not bad. Uh, for now, it's not going to be very good because Bulbasaur's only damaging move is tackle a physical attack. But yeah, that's pretty much all we did in the first video. We also got the Pokedex and some Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with, and we already caught two of them, being Rattata and Pidgey. I think I already healed, but I'm gonna heal again because I actually forgot. I'm sorry. Alright, so we've restored the Pokemon to full health. That's nice. See, so yeah, Pokemon Centers are helpful. I can't go over it enough. Uh, but what I said I was gonna do for this video was go over to this area. Being Route 22. Route 22 has two new Pokemon we can go over, but I'll. I'm going to level up first, and I'll go over what they are uh, in due time. Alright, that Rattata boosted me up to level 8. That's nice. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I should go over the uh, the new Pokemon. So, starting off is... Um, hold on a sec. Okay. Starting off is the one we just found right here, Mankey. This is the earliest fighting type we can find in the game, and it has solid stats to boot. It will eventually evolve into the fastest fighting type in the game, Primeape. It'll, it'll be able, it'll be able to take on the first gym leader who specializes in rock types pretty easily. And I feel like this is a very underappreciated and very overlooked Pokemon. And next up is a pretty uncommon Pokemon, Spearow, which we did not find there, unfortunately. Okay. Spiro is Pidgey's competition for being the better early game flying type. Remember how I said it's outclassed later on? Well, consider that right now because it's already been outclassed. This this one is focused entirely on speed and physical attack. It has a much more aggressive playstyle than Pidgey, and it can't learn Aerial Ace as a Fero, so hold off until level 25 to evolve it if you want Aerial Ace. Weird segue, but hey, it makes sense in the context of Spiro. It's one of the best flying types you can get early on, but even then, it's still outclassed later on. There are better flying types out there. Now, I want to catch Mankey because uh, even though I said I want to catch every Pokemon I find... Um, oh, okay. Mankey is actually a Pokemon I want for the main team. I said it was underappreciated under and underrated, so I want to catch it just to show. There we go! We got Mankey! Mankey, the pig Pokemon. Light and agile on its feet, and, and ferocious in temperament, when angered it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. I'm not going to give a nickname to the Mankey. Yet. That's where you guys, the viewers, come in. So what I planned on doing was making part of the series have a bit of viewer inclusivity into it. If that's a word, I am very impressed to myself for getting that right first try. Okay. I want the viewers to be included because... Well, I'm I'm personally not the best when it comes to uh, naming my Pokemon. So, for that Pidgey, Rattata, and Mankey, I want, I want you guys, the viewers, to come up with names. Now, you're probably wondering, where am I going to submit this other than the YouTube comments? Well, there's a Discord server I recently opened. The link is in the description of all, well, most of my videos now. So, if you want to go there... Just stop on by and just have a, have a nice time. There's going to be a separate channel for Pokemon nickname suggestions, and if yours get, gets picked, then consider yourself a lucky winner. Not really any prize pooled other than having it featured in the series and bragging rights, I guess. Now let's see if there's a hidden item over here. There should be. If not, then this is just a pointless ledge. 
I think this is just a pointless ledge. Yeah, it is. Alright, this is why I wanted to come over here. Hey, Red! You're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't even have any badges, do ya? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Why, yes, they did. I leveled up my Bulbasaur, as a matter of fact. So we're starting off fighting Rival Blue. Now, I want to say, if you pick Bulbasaur, then this fight it might be a little tough for you, because... He's starting off with Pidgey, level 9, with Keen Eye for its ability, meaning its accuracy cannot go down at all. With the moves Tackle, Sand Attack, and Gust. Sand Attack is going to be a little... A little dangerous, because it'll lower your accuracy, not letting you hit your moves as often. And Leash Sheet is already pretty low when it comes to accuracy, so it's going to be a miracle if I actually land this. Oh boy. Bad start, bad start. There we go. So basically what Leech Sheet is going to do is it's slowly going to drain Pidgey's health. And it's going to keep on doing that, and I don't even need accuracy for it. So if Tackle misses, then yeah. Accuracy's been lowered a whole lot. That's not good. <laughs> But this Pidgey has a Flying-type move, and Flying is super effective against Grass. And also, I've got a Poison-type, or not Poison-type, a Fighting-type. So, that's also going to be very, very bad. Because, Fighting is weak to Flying, too. I managed to hit Tackle, but that did, like, no damage. Oh, man. But I'm fairly confident I can take out this Pidgey pretty easily. And also, I'm hitting it, I'm taking its health with Leech Seed. So yeah, this is basically the playstyle Bulbasaur encourages, and it's fun to use, but not very fun to fight against. Just stalling. See, look at that, man. 105 experience and already level 9. That is so good. Now, it's Charmander's next. Um, Blue will have his starter, level 9, with their respective ability. And they're going to have their same moveset, uh, assuming... Well, assuming, no. They're going to have their moveset with the extra move they learned at level 7. So, Charmander's going to have Ember, Bulbasaur's going to have Leech Seed, and Squirtle is going to have Bubble. That didn't land. Oh boy, okay. Luckily, it's not doing a whole lot of damage, and I can use a potion on myself. I should have leveled up Mankey so I can actually use it for battle, but, you know, no, I did not mean to do that. I meant to go to fight, use Leech Seed. Okay, Growl, that's going to lower my that's gonna lower my attack, so that is not, not good. Not, not good, that's double negative. No, it is definitely not good. <laughs> Yeah, that Pidgey only exists to lower your accuracy just a ton. So you can't even land your moves. That's nice. Leech Seed hit. Oh my god, thank goodness. Okay. Last attack point for, uh, for Leech Seed and it actually hit. So remember how I said Leech Seed is bad early on? Well, I didn't necessarily mean it's bad because it'll do chip damage, but it's not as good as it's going to be. So now I can just keep on using Tackle, and yeah, hope for a crit because that is not going to cut it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is what I mean by boss battles are eventually going to get a bit intensive. And there's a lot more to Pokemon battles than just mashing Tackle. Besides, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take Tackle off of Bulbasaur eventually, because... Um, I haven't gotten into this yet, I don't think, but Pokemon can learn up to four moves, and when they're trying to learn another move, you're going to have to get rid of one. Isn't this embarrassing? Tackle's doing more damage than... <laughs> or at least he's doing more damage than tackle at this point. I should have sent Mankey out because Mankey's going to get the experience for it. Ah, my bad. Now I have to grind up Mankey, and yeah. 
Level 10 on Bulbasaur already. Sorry, I should call him Peepo because that's the name I gave him. Defeated Rival Blue. Ah, oh, you just lucked out. Actually, I did. I really did. And we get 144 Poké Dollars. I heard the Pokémon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. You don't even have eight badges yet. You can't even get in there. Alright, that was a tiny bit of a spoiler on my part, but... But what I'm saying is true. You need eight badges to get into the Pokémon League. You want proof? Well, here you go. Only truly skilled trainers are allowed through. You don't have the boulder badge yet. Rules are rules. I can't let you pass. So we can't pass because we don't have the first badge. The boulder badge. So how about we actually go on to the town where we can actually earn that. Also, if the movement speed is being unbearably bad to you in your opinion, that'll change later. And also there's no item there. Actually, I think there might be. Now, the movement speed definitely does get better, because there's an item we unlock that lets us move faster, but for now, not very kind to us. Actually, I want to I wanna walk around and catch a Spearow, because, like I said, I'm trying to catch every Pokemon I can for now. Not you, Rattata. I'll cut back to when I find Spearow. Okay! Finally found a Spiro. Alright, I feel like that's decent catching range, but I've only got one Pokeball and I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to use... I don't have enough for Leech Seed. Crap. Alright. Hope for the best. Okay. That's good luck right there. Nice, okay. Caught Spiro. Spiro's data was added to the Pokedex. Spiro, the tiny Pokemon. It busily flies through it flies around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can be a tough foe that uses mirror move. Mirror move is that's very specific. I never expected the Pokedex entry to give actual advice, but you know, interesting. Alright, so that's all the Pokemon I'm gonna catch there. Uh, now I want to go on to the next area, well, in a bit. I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon. I have Mankey set up to the front, and I was training while I looked for Spearow. And Mankey fainted, so I might as well heal up. Alright. So now we're on our way to... the next area. Can't really give the name of it until I find the sign. Trainer tips. Catch Poke- okay. Don't care. Route 2. There's some new Pokemon here, but I'll go over them in greater detail when we get to the next area. We could just skip this grass right here. <laughs> now we're in this gate. Rattata made me swell up. Don't underestimate its wicked bite. I don't, uh, the Rattata sucks. Shut up. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Oh boy. So this is what the area is called. Viridian Forest. Now, even though it may be a natural maze, I came here with some friends to catch those some big Pokemon. Or bug Pokemon. Ugh. They're all itching to get in some Pokemon, Pokemon battles. Or they're itching because they got bit by many mosquitoes. Is there even a mosquito Pokemon yet? I doubt it, but okay. Viridian Forest, it's pretty easy to navigate. May not want to go this way, but we'll find items anyways. Anyways, there, since this, this is a pretty big area, so there are some Pokemon we can find here, and I might as well go over them. Starting off with, not this one, Caterpie. Caterpie is the average early game weak bug type. It evolves very fast, fully evolving at level 11, but it has a useless middle stage at level 7. Upon evolving into Butterfree, its final form, it'll learn Confusion, a psychic type attack, and will eventually learn an array of debuffs, which is pretty interesting. It's not terrible early on, but I'd recommend replacing it with another point. Not poison type, I got poison sting. Okay. Another flying type because bug and poison, or not bug and po Oh my god, I keep messing that up so bad. Bug and flying is not a very good combination. Now, as for its useless middle stage, you can find that here too. The, okay, Metapod is Caterpie's aforementioned useless middle stage. My only advice, do not catch it. 
It doesn't- Okay, speak, speak of the devil, he will appear. It does not know any damaging attacks. Catch Caterpie if you're interested, and evolve it if you want it. Next up is the one we just found, Weedle. Weedle is Caterpie's Poison-type counterpart. It's very similar to Caterpie, except it starts out with Poison Sting and evolves into an offensive Poison-type. And for that reason, I'd say Caterpie is better because... Bug is a factually stronger type than Poison offensively. And you can also find Weedle's evolution here too, Kakuna. Everything I said about Metapod here applies. Do not catch it. Now, going on to a more positive Pokémon, we can find Pikachu here. Pikachu is a very uncommon Pokémon, but it's worth your time if you want an electric type. It's a good special attacker and has solid speed, especially for early game. It's good for Bulbasaur to take out flying types and good for Charmander to take out water types. This is the only electric Pokémon you'll find for a while, and it can't learn new moves, new moves by level up. Sorry for feel sorry for that. So evolve it at level 26 for Thunderbolt, level 33 for Agility, and level 41 for Thunder. Alright, I realized, a little too late, I don't have any Pokeballs on me. So, I'm going to cut after I buy some more. Or run into another wild Pokemon the very next step. Alright, I went on a bit of a shopping spree, and I bought 10 Pokeballs, 3 potions, there's 4 there, but I, I had one before, a Paralyzed Heal, and an Antidote. The Antidote I'm probably going to save for a while, because... Because I have Bulbasaur as my main Pokemon, poisons, Poison is not going to be a threat to me, like, at all, unless I'm using Mankey, which I guess I am, so yeah. The Paralyzed Heal also... I forgot. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no. Never mind. Mankey has Vital Spirit, I'm pretty sure. Not... Uh, not the... Not Limber, because I don't think Mankey can get Limber. I want to catch this Weedle if I don't kill it, because I actually, okay, like I said, catching all the Pokemon I find. And I'm getting pretty lucky with the uh, the poison, because I haven't been poisoned by Poison Sting. <laughs> that that gets me into um, another mechanic of the series, status, eff um, status effects. Uh, that is, that's stuff like poison, burn, sleep, paralysis, freeze, stuff like that. I didn't read Weedle's Pokedex entry, alright. I'm not going to be using Weedle on the team either, so don't count on that. <laughs> it's another Weedle. Might as well take that one. I'm going to take out all the Pokemon I already have, just so Mankey can get some level ups. Because she is in desperate need of them. Oh my god, of course. So much for, I don't need to use the antidote, I'm not going to be worrying about poison. Ugh. Eating my own words. Alright. Good thing I bought more potions, because Mankey needs them. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on, let's battle them! Alright, another trainer battle against this dork. Bugcatcher Rick would like to battle, okay. want to make a joke, but ugh. Joke's been ruined for me, so I can't make the joke anymore. Because I don't want to ruin it for you guys, too. Assuming it hasn't already been ruined for you. Alright, Mankey speed fell because... <laughs> string Shot is a move that's used a lot by these bug types. Ah, again? Dear lord. Mankey grew to level 6, that's nice, okay, good. And learn Low Kick, that's gonna be very, very good later on. Alright, Caterpie, also level 6, and I should be doing a lot of damage to it because Caterpie's got low stats. Of course my speed gets lowered again. You love to see it. Except you actually probably do because seeing the Seeing the Let's Player suffer is always funny. Yeah, Poison is a lot like Leech Seed, except it doesn't drain HP. Why did you String Shot? You could have tackled and won. Well, now you just look like an idiot. 
Oh, that is almost a level up. That is very unfortunate. I don't have an extra antidote, so I'm probably just going to lead with Bulbasaur for now. Besides, Mankey's going to be more helpful later on. And you have to see this effect on the screen because Mankey's been screwed. I'm going to cut... Okay. I already um, showed that one Pokemon battle, but these ba as you can see, these battles are pretty boring for now. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to uh, cut them until something relevant happens. That low kick was terrible. <laughs> Mankey grew to level 7. And Peepo grew to level 11. And we defeated Bugcatcher Doug, and he ran out of Pokemon. That's good. That means we win, and that he doesn't. And Mankey's probably gonna die right here. Yep, yeah, okay. I am in actual disbelief right now. Mankey died one step from poison before getting to the antidote. We've already got Weedle, so I don't want to catch Kakuna. I'll go back for you later. Talk about embarrassing, okay. Another Weedle, wow. Is there just not Caterpie here? <laughs> it's a rhetorical question, I know there are Caterpie here, but wow, okay. And we've got one last trainer for Viridian Forest. Sammy, okay, he's only got one Pokemon, it's a Weedle. We should be good, even though it's level 9. That's pretty high for a Weedle. Should almost be a Beedrill by this point. Leech Seed, okay, off to a good start. String Shot, never mind. Okay, so I said I was going to cut out Trainer Battles, but I'm not going to cut out the required ones, and this one is required. So, I'm just going to leave this one in. Even though it's actually super boring to watch. Yeah, he's just going to keep using Poison Sting, I'm going to keep using Tackle, and Leech Seed is going to keep going off. But at least Tackle's actually doing a sizable amount of damage, not like hardened spammers. Uh, but this is something I love about Bulbasaur. No matter how many times someone uses Poison Sting on it, Bulbasaur cannot be poisoned because it um, Bulbasaur himself is a poison type. Alright. I give. You're good at this. Okay, so that gives us the win, and we leave Viridian Forest. What do these guys have to say? Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down with us by a special Pokemon move I hear. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get, to get, to get different kinds. Blah, 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 stutter. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon's evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. You don't tell me how to do it, but... What they're alluding to is, whenever your Pokemon is currently in the evolution cutscene, you can stop that by, well, pressing the B button. And we made it to Pewter City. Now, even though we've all, even though we've just made it here, I feel like ending the video now because I've been recording for about 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna heal and I'll end, I'll end the video off. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red. We fight the we fight the gym leader for Pewter City. See you guys then.